Hello everybody, this is uh, Ilya Kolosov again with Ada Dance USA. Today is our third installment of these videos. And today we're gonna talk about things not, crap, things not to do with your shoes. So there's a lot of dancers who unwittingly ruin their shoes <sighs> by doing things that nobody told them. I'm outside right now in Cliffside Park doing my regular walk in the morning and if you're doing nothing for exertion definitely give it a shot. I'm outside and you're wearing dance shoes that's a big mistake. You cannot wear dance shoes outside. I've seen some people go out onto the street with their suede sole shoes and that is just a terrible idea. Suede is meant for wood only. You, you're ruining and chopping up your shoes by wearing them on pavement or anything like grass where I'm at. Um, definitely don't do that. Next thing, and this is really good for me because it increases my sales, <laughs> but don't do it. When you're done dancing, don't put your sweaty, wet, heated up shoes into your bag and let it rot in there until the next time you go dancing. Why? Moisture and heat destroy the shoes because shoes are held by glue. So when you're sweated all over the shoes and the body heat is staying on the shoe and you're just shoving it into a container that is a vacuum with zero oxygen, your shoes begin to deteriorate. Uh, counterintuitively, <clears throat> people think, uh, oh, I need to protect them. Yeah, sure, but you can also bring them to your house, take them out, and let them air dry. That is the best thing you can do for your shoes. Um, yeah. Alternatively, uh, you can just put paper towels in them at least. Just soak up the moisture. It's a terrible and lazy behavior to just dump your shoes into a bag and go about your life. Terrible. I used to swim back in the day, so I learned this the hard way. I would put my swimming trunks into my uh, cellophane bag and I just let it be there until next time I have to go swimming and it just smells like death. So don't do that. Next, um, water. I see a lot of dancers putting water on their shoes in between rounds and again, all these tips I'm giving you, if I don't give them to you, it's good for me because you're gonna ruin your shoes faster and come buying something else, but <clears throat> that's not cool. These shoes are expensive, let's preserve them. And, and they're, they're a work of art, they're handmade by professionals. It's just disrespectful um, to your wallet and to the people that made them. Why do people put water on the bottom of their shoes? They think it gives them friction. What really gives you friction is brushing the suede and uh, grazing up the material so it's fuzzy. That will give you more friction, but of course that requires effort, focus, determination and respect. It's so much easier to just pour some water on the shoe, tap it, and then you're back to it. Yeah, okay, sure, if you got the money. Oh, some people decide that they can dye their shoes. I tried dyeing shoes myself thinking it's not a big deal and I ruined it. It was just horrible. In fact, I dyed the shoes white satin shoes into black. I thought I thought it was black. And I sent them to my client and I didn't do it the right way. So her entire foot was just black and the shoe was trash. So I had to refund and it was embarrassing. So what I recommend is take them to a shoe repair and have them do it. They, they specialize in it. They know how to do it right. Um, it'll cost you a couple of bucks and it'll save you the embarrassment of wasting your resources and time. Sometimes people wash their shoes in a washing machine. That's not advisable for the same reasons as I said about the bag. Water destroys the glue that holds the shoe together. But you could do it. Uh, there, there is a way to do it. It's just risky. So you take a, a bag and you put your shoes in it, like the same bag that you would use your um, lingerie or other stuff that's super sensitive. Put your shoes in that bag, set the cycle to hand wash, and do it. 
just know that you might ruin the shoe and uh, make sure to secure the buckle because the buckle tends to go all over the place gets caught on the bag and usually falls off and then you lose the buckle which is replaceable but prevention is always better than solution that wraps up our episode for major things not to do to your dense shoes so don't leave them in the bag to rot use a shoe brush don't be lazy if you're gonna wash them wash them right if you need to dye them take them to a professional don't do it yourself unless you know what you're doing my name is Ilya Kolosov I'm gonna continue my walk if you have any questions leave them in the comments I'll answer some of them and the winner of this hat is the person that bombarded me with questions yesterday her name is Bo so Bo I'll be messaging you um, that's it tune in tomorrow for what vendorship is like what it's like to be a vendor a lot of you don't know but it drains my soul and I'll tell you about it and what you can do <laughs> to make me last longer <laughs> bye